It's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing Karma Police by Radiohead. I've gotten a lot of requests for this one. It's a great piano driven song by one of my all time favorite bands and I think you're really gonna enjoy playing it. Let's jump in. All right, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. There's a link down in the description that'll help you follow along and see where the chords line up with the words. So the intro and verses all have the same underlying chord progression. First, I'm gonna take you through the overall structure and rhythm of that. Then we'll go through section by section and add in all the little decorations and fills, which vary a bit depending on which verse we're in. So here's the underlying chord progression. We're gonna start on an A minor, like that. This is middle C for reference here. A, C, E here, thumb on this lower A. So, and we're in four, four times, so each of these measures gets four counts. In this measure, there's two chords, so each of those chords are gonna get two counts. So two counts on the A minor. Then we've got this D over F sharp. So third finger on F sharp and left hand, thumb can go to F sharp, second finger A, D. And actually, let's just right off the bat start pulsing in quarter notes, so just playing on every count in the right hand. One, two, three, Four, we're gonna go down to E minor here, fourth finger, E, G, B. So for two counts of that, up to G. So just all Y keys, G, B, D. So fourth finger, second finger for the E and G bass notes there. So far we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why not, let's add that in. One, two, and three. So we need to think in eighth notes, dividing the beat in half. One, two, and three. So just on the and after two, stepping up on the F sharp on our way up to G. Next two measures are the same, except for instead of that D over F sharp, we're just gonna do an F major chord. F, A, C, third finger on F here. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, and then that little walk up again, four. Next line, we've got that A minor. Then back to the D, same thing we were doing in the right hand before, but instead of the F sharp, we're gonna go down to that low D bass note, up to G, just like we did it before. This measure has four chords crammed in, so each of these chords is just gonna get one count. We've got that G. We've got the D over F sharp, just like we did it before. Then we're gonna travel our hands down. I'm gonna put my third finger on this super low C, and for the C major seven chord, all we gotta do in the right hand is essentially play an E minor, E, G, B, and then step down to a B minor. So for that, our pinky can stay on the B. We're gonna do an F sharp, so I'll use my second finger there, and thumb on D here, of course, stepping down to the B here. So that can be pretty smooth. Finally, all the way down to A. And I'm gonna do A minor this time like this, E, A, C. So it's a different inversion than we used before. And just a note, some pianos don't sound great when you get that low, and some pianos actually don't get that low, so if you need to jump up to a higher A for this, that's totally fine. Finally, we have this B minor to D sort of turnaround measure. This happens a lot in the different sections of the song. So that's gonna be B minor, just like we did it a second ago, two, and then D, just like we did it a minute ago. So I'll play through that whole progression one more time before we complicate things. And if you're a little bit more beginner, you can just play exactly like I do here and just have that be the version you do when you sing the verses and everything. And for this pass, I'm gonna start adding a little bit more rhythm to the left hand, thinking in eighth notes. I'm gonna play on the and after two and the and after four. So taking the A minor, for example, one, two, and three, four, and like that. Okay, cool, so now I'm gonna get into all the little details. And I just wanna say, Johnny Greenwood doesn't play it the same way every time. The details that he does in live versions are totally different, so he doesn't think that any particular fill or detail is crucial to the song. But people who have enjoyed the recording many times in their life will be attached to certain details, so I wanted to give them attention. So doing the intro now. 
So right off the bat there, he adds on the second beat of the D over F sharp, a, a high E note here, so it's kind of like a D add nine there. And I only really hear that happening in the intro and the first verse. Moving on, we got E. So now we have this cool melody that's gonna happen over the course of the next measure or two. It sounds like this. Love that. So leading into the G, that's one, two, and three, four, and, so A, B on four, and, and sometimes he harmonizes that with, like you can include that D in there. Now we got one, two, and, so harmonizing with your pinky on that E again. One, two, and on B, A, coming down, three, four. So on the two counts of F, just right on the quarter notes, we do like a F add two without our thumb on F, and then just resolve it down to the triad. Three, four, E minor. And then here we do again the and then next line. So we're gonna do that again. A, da, da, D. So this we're gonna play basically like we just did before. So there's this nice little arpeggio there. When we have that whole measure of A, we need to be thinking 16th notes, dividing the beat in four, one E and a, two E and a, and so on. One, two, three, E, and a four, E, and. So just taking the notes of that triad and just going from the bottom up to the top and back down. Finally, we got B minor, two, D, da, da. Love that. So on the D, we got three, four, and. So that's just stepping up thirds, G and B, A and C. And I'm just using one and three, two and four and then we would be looping back around to the first verse. Play that intro one more time, slow. So one little detail I had forgotten to mention is in that turnaround from the B minor to the D, he does this kind of alternated rhythm like one and two and three and ba -da, slamming into the verse. Okay, so now we're in the first verse, same chord progression. One big picture thing is the last two measures when we do the A minor, B minor to D, we're gonna do different inversions on those. So instead of coming up to this A minor and then doing B, D like that, we're gonna come up to the A minor that we started with. Then we're gonna come up and do a higher root position B minor, B, D, F sharp, and then a higher root position D, D, F sharp, A. For the first line here is pretty much just like the intro, but for the little section where we do all those little melodies in a row, the da 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 da, da we're gonna leave out the, when we get up to the A minor, you'll see what I mean. Comma, police, arrest this many talks in mass. He buzzes like a fridge, he's like a detuned radio. So up to this higher A here. And there's this little fill that happens actually on yet a higher inversion on that. So on A, E, and C. So the measure of A minor there is like one, two, three, E, and a four, E, and. Now we got the B minor, two, D, da, da. So on the same rhythm that we did the in the intro, but we just go to like a D sus four. So just up to the G with the middle note and then right back down. One, two, three, four, and... Let's keep cruising. The second verse is really similar. It does do the full melody in that section, the... It does the melody on the A. Comma, 
Holy, so not adding the E that time. Arrest this girl ahead, the hairdo is making me feel ill. This time it's not gonna do, it's gonna leave out that little bit of the melody like we did before. Ill and we have crashed a party. So there's a new one. So on the A minor here, we're just staying on this inversion, and we're gonna step up in third, so up to two and four on B and D on the way up to C and E. One, two, three, and four, and up to B minor, two, D. This is, it's kinda hard to hear here, but I think he just does something really simple, like just stepping down there, leading into the chorus. This is what so let's do the chorus. So here's the underlying chorus for the chorus, and I will show you that cool melody, but it's pretty tricky, so I'm gonna give you just the bare bones chords for an easier option. So we've come up here to just do a root position C major chord on middle C. Left hand has come up higher as well, just on bass C here. Up to D2, so just using my fourth finger there. Nice and easy, just stepping it up. Root position G up here. G, two, now we're just going to step down to this F sharp 7 here. So stepping down chromatically from the G, but if we want it to get that 7 in there, you can drop your thumb down to the E. So F sharp here, E, A sharp, and C sharp there. And it does that two times. This is what you get. And then on the next line, it starts out the same. This is what you get G to now B minor over F. We're gonna come all the way up to this root position B minor up here while stepping down to F sharp in the left hand. Mess with us. Now we have this measure of C coming down to bass C here and we're doing this inversion of C here. G, C, and E. Us, three, four. Now we're gonna do this B minor to D turn around with the inversions that we did at the end of the verses. Let's go back through that with some more detail. So the C to the D are just like I played it. But then when we get to the G, we're not gonna do the chord. We're gonna go up to the bass note and we have this cool melody here. So that melody is B, D, G, A, A sharp, F sharp, E, C sharp. I'm just doing all five fingers on the way up and skipping the fourth finger on the way down. That is a big stretch there though. So you could also start on your second finger, cross your thumb under, then go to third and up like that. Um, I'll probably do the stretchy way, but depends on your hand, what's comfortable. Okay, so second time around. This is what you'll get. Same idea here with the melody, but this time we're gonna do a melody that starts higher and we're gonna go down. It's gonna be D, B, G, just skipping down a G major chord. I'm gonna cross my second finger over to D and then come up to E and basically just go up the F sharp seven chord. And now here's a little variation. When we land back in C here, getting into the last line, we're gonna land in this inversion of C. So. E, G, and C. It just flows a lot better from where our hand is, and I can hear that that's what he does on the recording. Kinda cool. So the last line. This is what you get. Coming up to this G, so we do do the chord there. When you mess with us. So we've landed in this high C here, but we're gonna come down to this root position C chord here and just do a little um, basically a sus2 chord. Just a little 16th note rhythm there. One, two, three, e and a, four, e and a. And then we've got the turnaround. One, two, three, four, and. So that's a, just a little fill with stepping up thirds, just like we did. Or. But it's on the D, stepping up to E and G there. Timing is one, two, three, four, and, and then we would be landing in the third verse.
Okay, so let's look at that third verse. For the first little bit, it's really pared down without a lot of the right hand melody. Come up, police. I've given all I can. It's so the first little variation is on the not enough. I've given all I can. It does that one. Can but we're still on the payroll. So it goes to this inversion of A minor, and then it just does a little tiny, just A E. So one, two, three, four, and and then we've got this B minor two D, and it does the the same stepping up in thirds variation on the D that we did at the end of the chorus. One small note is in the first part of that verse, it sounds like Johnny does a little bit of this. Just a little variation on the rhythm. One and two, and just kind of splitting the chord up. I think that's pretty optional. But now we're in the second chorus, which for the most part is just like the first. I'll play it starting in the last line. So we're on that higher C inversion. This is what you get when you met with us so once again we go to that higher C inversion and then hop down to the do some 16th note rhythms on the root position C it actually goes a little sooner this time I think like one two and a three and four and like that and now we can just do one two three four leading into the bridge but there's this cool little uh, stepwise melody that you hear um, it's going to sound like this. So the left hand can just kind of hold down those bass notes. You can do a little bit and three of rhythm with it. And that melody is just basically stepping from B to G, but the C's and F's are sharp. And I'm going to do one, three, cross my thumb under to the D, then just step up to G and back down. One and two and three and four and and then we're gonna land in the bridge. That's gonna be the For a minute there I lost myself I lost myself So here's the underlying chords for that. I'm gonna come all the way down to this low uh, B for this and we can do B minor just like we've been doing it then for the D, this is actually a different inversion that we've been using for the D, but it's super smooth from the B minor. All you got to do is just drop that thumb down to A. Now, another new inversion for the G, coming up to my thumb here, B, D, G. Um, and then we just kind of go back and forth between those, uh, the G and the D. Now we've got this E add nine. So I'm going to hit E here hit it like that so G sharp B and F sharp there love that chord so it just goes through exactly that twice um, with the singing and then there is an instrumental pass you can do it just the same way but I'm gonna add this little bass line here that Colin's doing it's gonna sound like this little tricky but it's basically just the same or you can switch between two patterns in each spot so either stepping up twice and then skipping back down to the root so on the B we're just stepping up B C sharp D B these are just eighth notes one and two and now just move your hand up to the D three and four and sometimes there's the variation to instead of skipping down once you get to the third finger you skip up to the fifth above the root three and four and and you can do that on G as well one and two and although sometimes one and two and I'm just gonna kind of feel it out vary it a little bit you could do the same thing every time so just back and forth there and then when you go to the E, the pattern stops. Then there's two more passes through with the singing before two final passes through instrumentally to finish the song. Now, when we go back to the instrumental for the real outro of the song, I am gonna go back to that bass line for one pass. And then on the very last pass, I'll probably just keep it chill. And after you go through that final pass, 
you can just end on a B minor and the song is over. Thank you for sticking with me. I will now do a full cover so you can see how all these parts we've talked about fit together. And I just want to say we've gone over all these different variations of the decorations and fills and stuff, but you could totally just pick your favorites and do it the same way every verse makes it a little easier. But if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Also click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one and leave a request in the comments. Like I said, this one was a request. Okay, here's my version of Karma Police. Yeah. Uh... 